Hi everyone! Welcome to our Blender to Dora tutorial. Today, I'll be walking you through a five-step process to seamlessly transfer your 3D model and animation from Blender to Dara. We'll dive into the crucial pre-checking stage, delve into model and animation preparation, explore handling UVs and materials, focus on the important export process, and finally, ensure everything's in order with the verification step. A quick note, make sure you have your model and animation ready before you begin following along. And then let's dive in. So part one, checking. We'll start with the very first and crucial step, ensuring that the GLTF Explorer format plugin is activated. Usually, Blender defaults to this setting, but let's double check to make sure everything is set correctly. So go to the Edit and enter the Preference panel. Search for the GLTF and ensure this plugin is being turned on. So the part two, preparing our model and animation. So as you can see, I have a pre-made puppet model here, and let's preview its animation. It's a simple dancing move here. And now we can start baking our animation. But before baking, always check if the shape key and bone bindings are correctly set. Go to the animation tab. Select the armature parent file. You'll see all the animation tracks and keyframes. Once selected, navigate to Object Menu, Animation, and Bake Action. Choose the Pose for Bake Data and the other options can be ticked based on your model file and desired bake object. And right now, we can open your NLA Editor After baking, all tracks will merge into a continuous keyframe sequence. At this point, we can choose push down, turning our animation into a single NLA track. Then our animation part is ready. Next part three is UV and materials. So with our animation baked, it's time to bake the materials. Before that, we need to ensure all UV maps are properly unwrapped. That's the foremost step. So now we can switch to the UV Edit tab. Select the model itself, switch to Edit mode in the top left corner. Select all faces using shortcut A. Then go to the menu. Under UV, Smart UV Project to unwrap our puppet model. On the left, you can view our unwrap UV now. And then we can start baking the material. So now switch to the shading manual. You'll see a texture node interface below. Create an image texture using Shift A shortcut. And give it a name. After renaming it, don't make any note links at this time. For models featuring multiple materials on the same mesh, we can just copy the image texture if just created and apply across the other materials. Head to the Properties menu on the right. Select the tab with the camera icon and go to the Render tab. Change the Render Engine to Cycles. Now you'll see the bake option below. Choose bake type as combined, then click on the bake button. Ensure the model mesh is selected to initiate the baking. After some time, our texture will appear in the bottom left preview window uh, and go select the menu, image, and save as. And save it to your desired path. Now we are ready to explore. Then come to the part 4, 
Exporting. In the 3D view, select the object you want to export using Select Hierarchy. Go to the File option, then go to the Export, then choose GLB Format. Determine where you like to save your file. And in the panel to the right, you'll find an array of adjustable settings. For this demonstration, we are going to ensure the selected objects is chosen. If you have used any modifiers, then opt to apply modifiers. Make certain that materials export is activated. Depending on your project, consider whether you need to enable armature and steaming. Then opt to file compression if preferred and ensure big all objects is selected. Once you have double checked and confirmed all your settings, proceed by clicking the export button. And the last part, verification. Finally, upload a model to the 3JS or Dara website. The rendering on the 3JS is pretty consistent with Dara, so we can use it here as a quick checking tool. Click and select the uploaded model. Choose its parent. And in the material tab, you'll see an animation option that can be played. And hit play. See our animation perfectly sync with the one in Blender. And that means our export has a resounding success. Next, heading to the Dara website. Simply add a 3D widget and drag your GLTF file right into it. This will enable your model to be utilized seamlessly on the website. In summary, we've navigated a straightforward five-step process, transitioning from Blender to Dara. Initial checks, handling models and animations, managing materials, exporting and finally verification remember to adhere the steps whenever you want to export from blender to dara thanks for following along and i'll see you in the next tutorial